believe I have to make this video, right? I feel like I make it every year, but I, I want to because it's important to me. I don't agree with Russell Westbrook's rating in NBA 2K22. In fact, I think it's probably the most disrespectful rating in the entire game. I want to go into very specific detail as to why I believe this, right? I've noticed that if you look online, there is nothing, nothing defending Russell Westbrook. Everything is trashing him, and I think it is essential for me to at least give you the reason for why I think his rating is way, way, way too low. And I'm gonna go into that right now. Get pasta to the pack. It's pack here. Before the video starts, if you like the channel, please be an OG, join the pack, and subscribe, and leave a like on the video to help the video grow, or dislike it if you don't agree. I, I want to talk about this. Maybe I'm crazy, right? But let me break down what I'm thinking. Okay, here is the roster of NBA 2K22 for the Lakers, right? You have LeBron James 96, Anthony Davis 92, Russell Westbrook 82, right? 82 is the lowest rating Russell Westbrook's had since being a rookie, I believe. I know that some people think that this may be too high. I know a lot of people think in my comments that it's too low. I'm here to defend Russell Westbrook, but in order to do that, I need to recognize the problems with Russell Westbrook because I can admit the bad things, right? Let me tell you all the things I think he's particularly really bad at. First things first, three point field goal percentage is 30% for the entire season, and lately it's even been worse, right? Not only is that awful, right? All the threes he shoot are wide open because teams leave him wide open because they know he can't shoot, and he, he's not afraid to shoot, so he shoots them and he misses them. That's bad. Not only because 30% is bad, but because they're wide open and it's 30%. That's atrocious, right? Off the rip. Second, 65% from the free throw line, and he shoots six free throws a game is really, really bad, especially when they can just hack you at the end of the game, especially because almost all of Westbrook's possessions are driving to the basket and trying to score. If you're gonna get fouled a lot, you have to hit your free throws. And to be honest, 65% isn't atrocious, but it's not good at all. So that's not good. The big one, and I think the most famous one that everyone talks about is his turnovers. Russell Westbrook averages 4.6 turnovers a game. And let me tell you, that's one of the highest in the NBA. It does not matter if he's one of the most used players in the NBA. It doesn't matter if he dribbles the ball the most. It doesn't matter if he tries to get people open the most. 4.6 turnovers a game is ridiculous. But I, I'm talking about stats too much, and y'all always complain that I talk about stats, and stats aren't everything, and you're right. So let's talk about the non-stats. He has terrible shot selection. I mean, absolutely atrocious. There's times where there's three people under the basket, and he takes it and doesn't get fouled and misses. There's middies that he has no business shooting because he's not a, a fadeaway midi shooter, and yet he tries that. There's three-pointers that I don't care if you're open. If you're not hitting threes, don't hit threes. Or then he does a off-the-dribble threes that he's really not going to make. So all these shots are, are terrible, right? And then not only that, he's missing easy ones, wide open threes, wide open middies, and even misses open layups on occasion. That's not okay. Russell Westbrook, that is terrible. And then even other things like fumbling the ball. I've noticed a lot lately when he catches the ball, he like loses it for a second and then believes he has to force something because he lost the ball. Uh, poor defensive IQ. I don't think he's necessarily bad at defense. I think that's an over-exaggeration. But I think he has moments where he's not paying attention to his defender and somehow leaves him open. Or he goes for the bigger man or switches when he shouldn't switch. So I think his defensive IQ is bad. But I don't necessarily think he's bad at defense. But that's a lot of bad things about Russell Westbrook. I just named you an entire laundry list of players. And most players don't even have that big of a list, right? But with all those bad things about Russell Westbrook... I think the media only looks at the bad things and they forget about the crazy amount of good things he brings to a team too. And I'm not joking, there's a lot of good things he brings to a team. First of all, we can start with the stats, 45% from the field, that's not bad, especially for a guard, especially for a hyper aggressive guard like Russell Westbrook. Yes, he has 4 turnovers a game even more than that, but people forget that he has way more assists and turnovers, around 8-9 to nine assists per game. That's a huge difference. That means he's contributing to four assists over the turnover ratio a game, which is still really good. That's not bad at all. What about people forget that his ability to get people open in the NBA is maybe the best. I don't care what your opinion is. This is a fact. When Russell Westbrook drives, always, 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 another defender has to come and help because if not, he's getting an open layup, which means someone is always wide open and he for the most part is able to get the pass through he has moments where he messes the pass or does a mistake but people forget all the times he drops 
dimes to people in the corner, places in the top of the key, someone is open and he finds a way to hit them because that's his entire game. He may be the best in the world at doing that, right? Not only that, when he drives and someone doesn't help, his ability to hit contested layups may be some of the best in the NBA or even through contact. He's able to get that layup off. He has moments where he doesn't, but most of the time, you'd be surprised, that layup goes in. And that's not just an opinion. After watching multiple games, he is able to get those layups off, especially against good defenders. It's impressive. And I know that 30% from three is not good. And I know that they're wide open. And that's really not good. But he only shoots three threes a game, which really isn't a lot. That means he's making about one three a game, which isn't good. But it's not like he's forcing tons and tons of three pointers a game and missing them. It's only a couple of shots that he's missing. And on top of that, because teams leave him wide open, because they do, and he can make some on occasion, that leaves the Lakers' ability to create plays for him in the end of the game because they know, hey, Westbrook, we know you're not good at shooting, but if we need a big bucket here and you're open, we know you're going to be open for three and we need a three, we're going to give it to you. And sometimes he hits the shot and it helps the Lakers more than hurts them in those situations. His rebounding is exceptional. I cannot stand the stat padding argument people make. You're wrong. Russell Westbrook gets rebounds he has no business being able to get. I've seen so many rebounds and multiple games that I've watched. The Lakers would have lost the ball if Russell Westbrook didn't hustle for the rebound. But he gets it. How is that a negative? How? Explain to me. You're like, oh, well, that's just stat padding. Explain to me the logic. If you have an opportunity to get a rebound and you're the only one there and you run to get the rebound, how is that a bad thing? You're wrong. You're wrong. That's not how basketball works. And yes, 4.6 turnovers a game is horrible. You know who else has 4.6 turnovers a game? Luka Doncic, Trey Young, James Harden, people who are primary ball handlers who play point guard. That's crazy. It's almost like if you're a point guard that uses the ball a lot, you're going to turn the ball over. Kind of a crazy concept. It's not uncommon for point guards that had the ball a lot to turn the ball over. Yes, is it a lot and is it bad? Yes, but people forget that he averages way more assists and turnovers. So it comes with the territory, right? On top of it all, he's the only consistent Laker right now. He's showing up to every single game. He's, he's been healthy and luckily healthy. And he's not even the second option on the Lakers. He's the third option, averaging 20 points on decent efficiency from the field. That sounds like a lot of good stuff to me. Now, now, after all of that, I'm not saying Russell Westbrook's in 99 overall. I'm not an idiot. I understand that Russell Westbrook is not as good as he used to be as well. But you'd be lying. In fact, you'd be a casual. If you think that Russell Westbrook has nothing good about him and doesn't bring positive things to the Lakers, I'm gonna tell you something that nobody wants to admit. This roster, this Lakers roster, is ass. It is. They're not underperforming. The Lakers are winning the exact amount of games they probably should be. LeBron is 37 years old, and at least is playing well, but just started playing really well, to be honest. Street close misses most of his games, and this season, the games he has played has struggled. Russell Westbrook is a 32-year-old athletic guard who is past his prime and is at least performing decently well, but not like he used to. Carmelo Anthony is 37 years old and has become inefficient lately. Dwight Howard is 35 and doesn't bring anything what he used to. THT just came back and is trying to remove the rust. DeAndre Jordan is terrible. Kendrick Nunn hasn't played. Malik Monk just started to remember how basketball works and is playing well lately. And so the Lakers have been doing well lately. That's your roster. This is not a championship roster. Until Anthony Davis decides to come back and play well, this team isn't going to win anything. So I don't know why we're all confused that the Lakers are poorly performing. It's not because of Russell Westbrook. In fact, way more blame belongs to Anthony Davis if we're being real. Now, I'm not saying that being injured is a bad thing because it's not like it's his fault he's getting injured, right? But what I'm saying is because he's injured, they're not winning. Not because Russell Westbrook is performing a little worse than usual. All I'm trying to say is that if James Harden this season's an 89 overall the way he's been playing, then Russell Westbrook is at least an 86 overall. At the minimum, okay? Listen, Russell Westbrook is not a bad player that could be a good player. Russell Westbrook is a good player that could be a great player. That's the reality of Russell Westbrook. That is my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like the channel, please give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time.